Good day, everyone. So our lesson is about the anti-differentiation word problems. Anti-differentiation word problems. Here are some word problems that involve anti-differentiation. Sample number one. A rock is dropped from the top of a 400-foot cliff. Its velocity at time t seconds is v of t equals to negative 32 t feet per second. Questions. Letter A, find the S of t, the, represent the height of the rock above the ground at time t. Letter B, how long will it take the rock to reach the ground? And letter C, what will be its velocity when it hits the ground? A rock is dropped from the top of a 400-foot clip. Its velocity at time t seconds is uh, v of t equals to negative 32 t feet per second. For question A, we have the uh, s of t, the height of the rock above the ground at time t. So to represent the s of t, we have the anti-differentiation of uh, v of t, which is negative 32 t feet per second and uh, we obtain that s of t is equals to the integration of negative 32 t dt so it is equals to negative 32 t squared over 2 plus arbitrary constant t and it simplifies to the s of t is equals to negative 16 t squared plus c because we know that the rock was dropped off a 400 feet cliff, this means that when we started, the rock was at a position of 400. In other words, when t is zero, so the s of t is equals to 400. Therefore, uh, we can put zero in four, and 400 in 4s of t and solve for c. So the from the uh, equation of s of t is equals to negative 16 t squared at arbitrary constant c. So we have s of t equals to 400 equals to negative 16 times 0 square. So we, we put 0 in 4t. So negative 16 times 0 squared is 0 plus C. Therefore, the arbitrary constant is equals to 400. So our final answer is uh, S of T is equals to negative 16 T squared plus 400. Next for question B, how long will it take the rock to reach the ground? When the rock hits the ground, it is zero feet off the ground. Therefore, the S of t is equals to zero. So we set S of t equals to zero and solve for t. So S of t from the equation S of t is equals to negative 16 t squared plus 400 and the S of t is equals to zero. So therefore, the equation is, is negative 16 t squared plus 400 equals to 0. Next, uh, to solve the t squared, so transpose natin yung negative, uh, positive 400, so it will become negative 400. Then yung negative 16 all over negative 16. So t squared is equals to negative 400 over negative 16 is t is equals to square root of 25 and square root of 25 is 5 seconds. How about for question letter C? What will be its velocity when it hits the ground? We already found the time when it hits the ground, and that is 5 seconds. In order to find the velocity, all we need to do is plug the t equals to 5 that we found into the equation for velocity. So the equation natin ng velocity ay v of t is equals to negative 32 t. Then, we solve for V of 5. Yung 5 ay galing yan sa question B, yung 5 seconds. 
So it will become negative 32 times 5. And D of 5 is negative uh, 160. So our final answer is 160 feet per second. And that's it. Okay, so anti-differentiation word problems. Example number two. A wound is healing in such a way that T days since Monday. The area of the wound has been decreasing at a rate of negative 3 quantity T plus 2 raised to negative 2 centimeter square per day. In If on Tuesday the area of the wound was 2 centimeter square, question A, what was the area of the wound on Monday? And question B, what is the anticipated area of the wound on Friday? if it is continuous to heal at the same rate. Okay, let A square centimeters be the area of the wound T days since Monday. Then derivative of A with respect to time is equals to negative 3 quantity T plus 2 raised to negative 2. So, the anti-differentiation of the given uh, derivative is equals to yung negative 3 ay constant na yun. So, pwede natin ilagay sa coefficient ng integration sign. Then, we have the uh, integration of quantity t plus 2 raised to negative 2 dt. Because uh, derivative of quantity t plus 2 is dt, Kasi ang constant natin ay t, siyempre ang derivative nun ay dt. So, ito na yung magiging substitute natin dito. No? dt. So, yung ating t plus 2 ay nandun naman sa ating integra integrands. So, therefore, we obtain a is equals to negative 3, bring down negative 3 times. Integration ng ating integrand. So, we have t plus to quantity raised to negative 1. Kasi negative 2 plus 1 so magiging negative 1. Then kung ano yun sa, sa exponent, ganun din sa denominator. Okay. So we have, eto kasi cancel out na yung negative so magiging positive 3 na lang siya. Therefore, ang ating A is equals to 3 as a numerator and dahil yung t plus 2 ay negative exponent so pwede siya mapunta sa denominator. So we have a equals 3 all over t plus 2 plus arbitrary constant c. Based on sa given because on Tuesday the area days since 2 square centimeter. Sabi dun sa ating given di ba? We know that a is equals to 2 when time t is equals to 1. Substitute this value, we obtain. So, yung ating given equation, a is equals to 3 all over t plus 2 plus arbitrary constant c. So, a is equals to 2. Then, yung time t natin is 1. So, we have 2 equals to 3 all over 1 plus 2 is 3 plus C. So, meron na tayo ngayong 2 is equals to 1 plus C. Then, yung ating arbitrary constant is equals to 1. Okay? So, finally, A is equals to 3 all over T plus 2 plus 1. Yung ating constant I 1. Okay? So, meron na tayo ngayong uh, equation. On Monday, let uh, t equals to 0 and we use a sub 0 be the value of a when t is 0. Substitute this value we obtain. So, gamitin natin yung ating equation kanina. So, a sub 0, ibig sabihin ito yung Monday. We have 3 all over t plus 2 plus 1. Since ang time natin ay 0, so substitute magiging a sub 0 equals to 3 over 2. So, 3 over 0 plus 2 is 2. So, 3 over 2 plus 1. And 3 halves plus 1 is 5 halves. 
Thus, on Monday, the area of the wound was 2.5 square centimeter. 5 halves is equal to 2.5. Okay. On Friday, so on Friday, we have time t equals to 4. Let A uh, sub 4 be the value of A when t is equal to 4. So A sub 4 is equal to 3 over t plus 2 plus 1. Ang time natin ay 4. So, A sub 4 is equal to 3 all over uh, 4 plus 2 plus 1. So, we have uh, 4 plus 2 in denominator 6. So, magkakaroon nga ng 3 over 6. Ito, magiging 6 na ito. Ano? Eh, ang 3 over 6 ay 1 half, di ba? 3 over 6 is 1 half. So, 1 half, magiging ano nga ito? 1 half plus... 1. Eh, ang 1 half plus 1 ay 3 halves. Okay? So, magiging 3 halves na ngayon itong part na ito. So, therefore, a sub 4 is equals to 3 halves. At ang 3 halves ay 1.5. Hence, on Friday, the anticipated area of the wound is 1.5 square centimeter okay and that's it